Well, welcome back, my fantastic artistic friends, to Painting with Master Temple. With it being the season of goodwill and all that lot, I thought we'd better do a nice little Christmassy scene. So let's have a look at what I've got done on the canvas. I've taken a black canvas, primed in a black acrylic primer, and allowed that to dry completely. And then I stuck on some masking tape and I cut out a rough shape of uh, an old barn, you, you know, just a rough shape. And uh, we've got Mary, Jesus, and Joseph just there. Stuck that on and then across the whole lot I painted it in a very, very thin layer of liquid clear and some transparent colours going from Indian yellow, you can see the Indian yellow on the masking tape, up into crimsons and into blues. And down here we've added a little bit of Van Dyke brown to that as well. Okay, so I've done Christmas scenes and nativity scenes in the past and they've been uh, of the cold nature, you know, with, uh, with snow and Christmas trees and, uh, and all that lot, but the nativity set in uh, in Bethlehem certainly wasn't a very cold place 2022 years ago so we'll uh, try to go catch that on canvas now so with a fan brush and just some pure titanium white all I'm going to do is just take some titanium white and I'm going to find out where the bright spot is Neil I assume it's going to be just above the, the manger there just above baby Jesus and we're gonna go paint all over the masking tape. Okay, just like this. And I'm gonna feather this up there, just like that. And we'll go side to side, swirling as we go, just side to side strokes. And it'll pick up the Indian yellow, that's on there. And if all goes well, it'll make it look like some really lovely, nice, Far distant away sky clouds, you know, sky clouds, clouds in the sky. Come on down, start talking properly. Okay, just build this up. Oh, leave little dark spots and lighter spots as we go. And we can even take it and just go up bigger and bigger and bigger strokes as we get towards the crimsons. Okay, just go across just like this. We're gonna come black. Uh, gonna come back and blend all this together. Okay, take that down there. Smaller strokes as we get towards the horizon line, and larger strokes as we get away from the horizon. Really bigger strokes, just like that. Look at that. It's like a massive, massive cloud. Wipe off any excess if you if you pick up a little bit of colour up there. Okay, and again, I'm going to start, where are we going to start? We'll start up here, okay? Side to side strokes, side to side, that's all we're doing. Just using a nice rocking motion, picking up that blue now. Maybe this goes this way, maybe across down there like so, we don't know, don't know where it goes. Okay, now I'm going to leave a little dark spot just about there. And that'll come uh, apparent later on in the video. With a little dark spot up in the sky just there. Okay, right. So all I'm going to do now is just blend this together. So I'll set that fan brush down. Okay, get a nice big clean and dry because we've got liquid clear on there. We don't really want to be taking uh, any thinners into the painting. Okay, and I'm using a two inch brush because it's, it's quick. <laughs> Not only is it quick, it, uh, it helps move the paint a little bit easier than the smaller blender brushes that we've got. But we'll just blend these again now, starting in the bright, light, yellowish tones here. And then I'm going further up. Again, just use that side to side sweeping motion to take out all the fan brush marks. Just like that, look at that, that looks so colourful, doesn't it? That looks so colourful. Yeah, like that. Now, I'm gonna take a, another fan brush, because I haven't washed the one that I've got. Well, I'm gonna take another fan brush, grab a little bit more white, okay? And maybe I'm just gonna go straight back in here, just straight over, baby Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Okay, I really want that to zing. Okay, just like a halo around, around the family there. Okay, and while I've got that brush going, I can put in some more little 
sneaky little clouds that just sneak out there like that. Maybe there's one there. Be careful if you pick any yellow up and we're going to the greens, we're going to have, uh, sorry, if we're going to the blues, we're going to have a greeny colour sky. We don't want that. Yeah, like that. Okay. Back to the brush that we blended with. And again, if we pick up any colour, just beat it against your easel and then just blend this out. Blend that out. Like so. And then again, across these clouds that we've put up here, I'm just going to go straight across all those and set them into the painting, just like that. Look at that. There. Like that. Take out all the brush marks. And we're back in business. We're back in business, yeah? Okay. So... Let's set that brush down. Another fan brush. I've got several, several fan brushes. I'm going to put a bit of distant land down here. Okay, so I'm going to take a tiny bit of Van Dyke Brown. Okay, maybe even darken it off with a bit of black. Okay, Van Dyke Brown and black. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of, of land just over there. But we needed the glow behind, behind the... Uh, like in the distance in the sky. Okay, so if we just do that, maybe come across there. So this is inspired, this little this little scene here that we've got here is inspired by a painting that was done by uh, by my daughter for a credit for the credit card for, for a Christmas card. For a credit card, be young to get a credit card. Um, yeah, she, she designed a Christmas card for school and it got made into and i put a little photograph of it up and this went many many years ago about five or six years ago i think it was and they made it into a proper christmas card which we could buy and obviously post out and send to family and friends which quite very very nice and i thought I thought one day i'm gonna paint that i did help her i did help her a little bit but not didn't take over i'm not that kind of dad okay Okay, so I've got a little bit of a hill running in the background there. Okay, I'm going to take some thin oil. Okay, linseed oil, liquid clear, whatever you've got going. So just some thin oil and I'm going to go into, into that same colour. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put some little, like, houses way back here, you know. So just block them in, okay. Many of them had flat roofs back in uh, Bethlehem. So that's maybe what we'll do. So you can even keep the light on on some of them, if you wish. Not that they had electricity back then, but... Yeah, just like that. There we go. So you need to thin it down, obviously, to paint on top of this. And again, you needed the yellows, the bright yellows and stuff behind. Okay, we can even paint a tree. Could have painted a tree, yeah, but... This being Bethlehem, I think it'll be a nice palm tree. Okay, so we'll just do a nice little indication of a palm tree with some frogs on there, just like that. There we go. Okay, make that a bit bigger. Yeah, one down there. Yeah, there we go. Swill the brush off, odorless paint thinner. Dry on a paper towel, as always. Okay, now I think we're ready to take the masking tape off and, and build from there. Okay, so what we're going to do, get a clean knife, make sure the knife is clean. Get under the masking tape and pull all this off. Okay, then just pop it on the floor. Or in the bin. In the bin's better place, trust me. Okay, a little bit on this one. Okay, come on, up you come, up you come, out you pop. Okay, so there we've got the nice silhouette of Mary, Joseph and baby Jesus. Okay, what I'm going to do is take some Van Dyke Brown, just some straight Van Dyke Brown. And I'm going to just lightly, you probably can't see this, but I'm just going to put on the indication of some thick wood. Okay, 
just with a palette knife and it doesn't have to be perfect this is not this is not perfection this, this is not straight slats that you would buy straight from a joiner's shop this is old wood old barn where the cow lives no room at the inn yeah okay a bit more on this side so we'll just pop this in now you could paint this straight on top of your normal paint if you wish but I find using the masking tape, the original design on the, it just, it just gives you that helping hand. It gives you that helping hand. Now, if you haven't got masking tape, contact paper is good as well. There we go, just like that. Now let's paint the downward uprights or whatever we call them. So just down there, then very gently, we'll come back and put a tiny bit of highlight on some of these, but. Don't want to go too crazy. Silhouetted, you see? Just there, like that. Yeah, wow. And again, on the other one, a bit more paint. And down we come. There we go. There we go. Careful we don't slip with a knife. Like so. Okay, maybe make that top a little touch thicker. There, there. That. Of course, when this thick paint dries, it will uh, it will feel like old wood and bark and and uh, you know be quite quite tactile. Right, I'm going to take a bit of white paint and I'm just going to whiten off. It sounds like there's a plane outside. I'm just going to whiten off some of this Van Dyke brown, just a touch. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little highlight just wherever we want. Just, just delicate, delicate, hardly any pressure. Just a little highlight. Same on this side, forgive the hand if it's in the way. So we'll just go up like that. Okay, and then same on the uprights going downwards. So we'll just pick out a spot where we want to put a little delicate touch. And straight down there and the same on this side we'll do that just there like so that easy that easy okay we don't have to work as cells to death on this okay nice and easy nice and easy okay I'm just gonna take a touch of white into this old blender brush and I'm just gonna hit this white just down here okay and just mist a little bit of area there just so we can see I hope we can see that just a little bit of white and then of course again that'll pick up all the colors that's on the on the canvas already okay there we go maybe a touch on this side just a touch don't want much don't want much don't want to lose its appeal and its effect just like that Take that away, like so. Okay, let's move that off, dry it out, beat it up, back in business. Right, I'm gonna take a touch. I'm gonna to get the little filbert brush. Which one is it? This one. Okay, I'm gonna take a tiny touch of phthalo blue and white mixed. Okay, I'm not gonna put any great detail on the uh, on on these people, but, but I just want a hint of blue. Oh, Mary again she's gonna be silhouetted so we don't want much just a hint of blue okay maybe go into a touch of white as well I think in all the old paintings I think she had a white headdress I think so we'll just put a touch of white on there you don't have to make it perfect just like so and then again on the other side I'm gonna take a bit of what shall we have a, a, a Joseph We'll go into some crimson. So I haven't even cleaned the brush. Okay, I'm just going to get some crimson. And maybe a touch of white. Just to brighten it up a bit. And it's got the colours that are already on. The blue and the white already. Okay, so again we'll just. Put a bit of a crimson colour. So he's got a nice crimson. Just like that. Take it down into the ground. Now you don't have to go crazy. Okay, don't have to go crazy. All right, uh, wipe the brush. Let's get some 
Van Dyke brown. In fact, we'll take the lighter colour, just Van Dyke brown and a touch of white again. We've got the crimson in, but we'll put a little bit of something on Joseph said. Okay, now I know they had halos and everything in the uh, the old pictures, but we'll just paint them as they are at the moment. Okay, just like that. Okay, some white and brown mixed, and we'll make baby Jesus just there. Well, the manger just there, like so. And then let's go into some yellow and brown and white. Just a touch of yellow, brown and white. And then underneath all this, there'll be some straw. So we'll just dab on just a touch of straw like that. Yeah, I hope you can see that. Maybe make it a touch lighter. A bit more white. Touch lighter. There, like so. Just tap it in, tap it in there. Fetch it across and out. It's just this little rounded brush. Does wonders, does wonders. Okay. Grab a clean brush and I'm just gonna pull that and, and move that and just, just tickle it out. Tickle it out just like that. So there we got it. There we go. In fact, let's take some white and I'm just gonna tap across the whole thing now. Okay. The whole thing. So we've got Mary and Joseph, little baby Jesus. Okay, what do we need down here? Okay, so I've got a pretty, pretty big fan brush, okay. I'm gonna take some white. Just go straight into that white, okay. And we're gonna come down here just like this, okay. And just like the sky, it'll pick up anything that's on there. Okay, let's blend that out. So it's gonna look like Sand. That's there. Okay, maybe could take a bit more. Oh, there, brighten it up somewhat. Some sand. And then blend this out to almost nothing. So it's picking up the browns underneath. Okay, now we're in the desert and we've already got one palm tree. So I think we should have another one. I think we should have another one. What do you think? I think we should. Okay, I'm running out of fan brushes. I know I had a lot, but I'm still running out of fan brushes. So a little tiny touch of thin oil, some black. Where is it? Some black. In fact, I'm gonna throw a bit of green in that. Some black, green, and brown. Okay. Let's see how see how this goes. So we'll go up there like that. Okay, there we go. Of course, in the desert, in Bethlehem, we would have a palm tree, I'm sure of it. Okay, maybe take this down into some foliage under there. Okay, grab a bit more of that thin oil, make sure it's really thin. So, brown, black, green, happy days, yeah, happy days. And all I'm gonna do is tap around just tap so just go over the sky over the clouds just like that okay and just gently pull out give the appearance and the indication of some fronds on these palms i love palms i've got a couple in my garden though it's uh it's not the best place to keep them in uh, freezing cold yorkshire in the uk Okay, so there we go. So we've got a palm tree just there. And again, where's the big brush gone? We can take this, in fact, grab a bit more white and take this out there, like that. Just like so. We're nearly finished, I think. We're nearly finished. Only just one more thing, one more thing. I'm just gonna take a little tiny touch of white on the finger. And right above where baby Jesus is, I'm just going to put a little glow just up there. Just up there. Uh, take a, not that brush that's covered in paint thinner, but I take a, a dry one and just tease this out. Tease, 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 tease. That out there. Palette knife. Let's get some... Uh, Let's get some white, let's clean off the palette knife. Come on, first down. I do try and clean off the palette knife every time, but uh, 
sometimes they're going to be lazy okay so I touch a white paint and all i'm going to do go straight up where it is it about there and we'll put a nice start of bethlehem okay and then same this way about there so just a little tiny touch of white paint right on the edge of the knife deal with that bit there there okay how do you think we've done my fantastic friends do you like it will you give it a go if you do give it a go tag me in a photograph on facebook send me an email if you want subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed have your very merry christmas and until next time take care of yourself stay safe happy days